about to enter Casablanca. Well, Casablanca makes a good impression from the start. So fortunately, the American was not right after all. And there it is, the King Hassan II Mosque, in all its splendor, at the beach. I still feel some sense of achievement, even though the project turned out so completely different to what was originally planned. But considering our changed circumstances, I'm still glad that part of the trip, at least, was done. Finally arrived at the location we've been working so hard to reach. And uh, really glad. Two years of hard work collecting for UNICEF's Pakistan for Children's Appeal. And all, all this trip is in memory of our dear friend, John Blackman. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support, and for your interest, and for your encouragement in the last two years and along the way. Found a garage to park overnight next to a rundown area. Look at buildings like this. Maybe the American was just a little bit right. And so I wonder slightly if it's safe to park a motorcycle in this area. The hotel room that was available in Casablanca had its own wash basin, but the ensuite bathroom was very dirty, which created a lot of problems the next morning. But at least the balcony offered a nice view of the town and of the traffic and the evening life in Casablanca. To give the whole place a sense of history, here we have some pictures of what the place here used to look like. In the evening it is time for dinner and Casablanca surprises with moderately priced restaurants with excellent food, with dishes from Morocco and other Arab countries 